everyone, Chris Arnett here for Carflurry TV for another edition of Strategy. I've got Jimmy Freaky here. Thanks so much for coming. No problem. I'm doing nothing with my life. <laughs> oh, besides poker? Besides being a professional poker player? Uh, besides sleeping, basically. I've uh, been here but the last couple days. That, right? That's true. I'm very good. Sometimes I sleep as much as 18 hours at a time. But <laughs> uh, yeah, I decided I was gonna leave uh, right after I busted the tournament on day one, but I decided to stay here and sweat Devo. And luckily, he's chip leader, so my sweating powers are still strong. Nice. All right. Well, today for strategy, I thought we'd talk about limping. Now, let's talk about in, in tournaments. Is limping a good play, bad play? What's your opinion on that? There's a huge difference strategically between open limping, which is limping when no one has entered a pot in front of you, and over limping, which is limping uh, when people have already limped in front of you. Uh, I'll over limp with lots and lots of hands. Uh, I will never open limp. Uh, usually, you know, it folds you in middle position, you've got two deuces or whatever, like, you, you can raise that hand up, it's fine. Okay. Um, but when it goes, like, limp, limp, limp to you and you've got deuces, like, and it's to the point where you can't really call a re-raise because the stacks aren't deep enough, uh, in that situation I'll just limp because if someone raises, it's going to encourage a multi-way pot, whereas if it goes raise, re-raise, the pot's usually only going to be heads up and a hand like two deuces wants to see a multi-way pot um, for as little money as possible if the stacks aren't especially deep. Um, and why is open limping so bad? Um, it's basically just you're not contending for the pot enough. Um, there gets to be a really weird dynamic late in a tournament where people are, are so overcautious of limps that they perceive them to be much stronger hands than raises because they know that like they want you to get in the pot basically. But in general, unless that dynamic is going on, that people know that limps are weaker hands than usual. Um, and in poker, you know, the whole point is that you're not supposed to give away as much information as you're supposed to give away as little as information as possible. And when you're limping and you're not doing it to trap people, you're basically giving away the fact that your hand is weaker, and you let people gain the uh, the lead basically in the hand by raising over you. And if you're not able to limp re-raise them enough, basically. Uh, then you know you're giving up the pot in a lot of in instances. How does it change from tournaments to cash games? Um, not a whole lot for me. I, I still don't limp in cash games very much. I don't open limp very much at all. Uh, I will over limp a lot lighter on the button, especially uh, in cash games with hands like you know 10-8 offsuit and stuff like that. Uh, depending on who else is in the pot, you know there are a lot of really bad players in cash games who will buy in for like you know the minimum and just like limp every hand and try to see as many flops as possible because they're just trying to gamble. People in tournaments don't do that as much, um, so I'll try to see flops and like. It's, it's usually a sign of a really good game if everyone's limping, so I'm going to try to limp along with them and like try to you know show off that I'm playing a lot of pots, whereas you know when I'm putting in 20 big blinds pre-flop, I'm going to have a really good hand. When I put in one big blind, I'm going to have trash on the button, you know, usually. Um, but uh, I, I still don't like limping a whole lot. It's um, You're going to end up doing it sometimes um, you know, when you've got small suited connectors or something in position. But still, I mean, position is so important that you still want to be raising a decent number of your hands even op even over lots of other limpers. Okay. What about six-handed cash games? Are you still over limping there if there's a, still if there's a couple of um, open limpers in front of you? I know online I basically never ever limped in a six max cash game unless it goes like limp, limp, limp and I'm on the button with like five, four suited or something or pocket deuces but I mean I will very, very, very rarely limp after one limper mm -hmm. but over two limpers I'm going to limp a lot more so in six max it's not especially a rule that I'm going to limp less but it's just you don't get two limpers in front of you that often the one exception to all of these rules though is the small blind and the small blind you can limp a lot because you're getting a lot better price um, but you still have to avoid limping with like pure trash hands like 10 dues off suit and stuff pretty much anything suited you can complete the small blind lift but I treat completing the small blind as completely different from limping in position okay yeah th but would you say it's wrong to always limp the small blind then? Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, you you can't you know you can't limp really really trash hands like king deuce offsuit and even even hands like ace four offsuit like you can probably get away from limping those um, because you're 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 gonna end up like flopping an ace and putting in a lot of money when you're behind or like you know you're just not gonna flop any draws. Suited things completely different because you can flop combo draws. Any suited hand can flop like a pair and a false draw and can play that pretty aggressively. But it really depends on the game, too. Um, obviously, if you've got a big blind who loves raising limpers, don't limp as much on this big blind. If you've got people behind you who want to isolate the limpers a lot, which is, you know, it'll go like limp, 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 
And the guy on the button makes it like 6x, 6x six the big blind. Like, he'll usually get one caller. So he's isolating the limpers, basically. He's isolating the best of the hands there. And because he has position, he's going to you know, end up winning the pot a lot more. Whereas if he limps with, with whatever he's raising with, he's, he's going to have to make a hand. And usually the people who are isolating limpers don't have multi-way hands. They have hands like you know King Jack offsuit or whatever that wants to play heads up. All right. Well, thank you so much. No Chris Janet with Jimmy Ficky for Card Player TV.